six of our yoga lockdown challenge. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit more challenging. We're going to be doing our full and star. We're going to be balancing on our hands and our feet and we're going to be really using those oblique muscles. Especially if you've never done this pose before, I actually recommend watching me do it first and then redoing it yourself because it's really nice to have a visual guide before you attempt a new pose so you know where your body is going. As always, I ask you to listen to yourself. If you find this pose a bit too challenging, you can just skip this and go to another video in the lockdown challenge. We're going to be starting with our breaths and as always, we're going to elevate our hips. Make sure that you're sitting nice and comfortably and then we're slowly closing our eyes. And then we're starting with our four, seven, eight breath. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let it go. Deep inhalation through your nostrils. And a slow exhale through your mouth. Take a couple moments to observe the echoes of your prana, your breath in your body. And gently open your eyes, take a couple shoulder rolls. Move a little bit here in your seating pose and then we're gonna be starting in a standing position. So you can come off your blanket and then I'll meet you on the mat. We're starting in a standing pose. Your feet are hip width distance apart, softening your shoulders, lengthening through your spine. As you inhale, bring your hands around the same height as your shoulders. And then from here, we're gonna make tiny arm circles. Kind of like the size of a dessert plate. <laughs> First going one way, doesn't matter what direction you start in, and then the other direction. Want to create a little bit of strengthening here for our arm muscles and then slowly release. As you inhale, bring your hands forward and you're pointing your fingertips down towards the ground. And as you exhale, it's like you're saying stop, inhale and exhale, point your fingertips back down. And then again, like you're saying stop one more time, inhaling and exhale. Slowly release your hands. Place your hands firmly on towards your hips. As you inhale, lifting your right knee up in line with your hip and then holding it here for a moment. Inhale and exhale, lower back down, coming straight in towards that balancing. Inhale, lifting your left, softening your shoulders. And exhale, lower it down from here. Pedal it out from one side to the other and then shake it off. From here, we're coming into a quick warm up. We're going to do some salutation, B variation, and then we're going to come in towards our full length start. It is really important that you listen to your wrist and the rest of your body. If you notice while we're going through this flow, it doesn't feel good. You always have the option to sit out and come into child's pose. We are balancing more on towards our hands and our feet today, and it's really important to keep that connection with your core. Then from here, we're going to start in towards our downward facing dog. Softening your shoulders, you can always have a light bend in your knee, and then here we go. Inhale, lifting your right leg up, exhale, bring your knee in towards your chest, rip forward, forward, place your foot in between your hands, pivot on towards your back foot, inhale, reaching your hands up, clap your hands together, look up towards the ceiling, inhale, exhale, cartwheel your hands back down, pivot on towards your back foot, rock it forward towards your forward fold, inhale, look up, flat back, exhale, round your spine, bend your knees, roll yourself up to standing, inhale, reaching your hands up, exhale, bending your knees lightly, roll all the way back in towards your forward fold, inhale, lift up, flat back, exhale, lower yourself back down, stepping your right foot back, and then your left coming into strong plank, inhale, exhale, bend your knees, Scoop your hips up, downward facing dog. 
Stay here for three counts. Catch your breath and you can always come in towards child's pose whenever we are catching our breath in our downward facing dog. One last breath, inhale. And as you exhale, lift up your left leg, bring your knee in towards your chest, ripple it forward, step it in between your hands, pivot on towards your back foot, inhale, reaching your hands up, clap your hands together, inhale, exhale, carwheel your hands down, pivot on towards your back foot, rock it forward, forward fold, inhale, look up, flat back, exhale, release your hands, Bend your knees, roll yourself up to standing. Inhale, reaching your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knees, roll it back forward. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, release. Step your left foot back and then your right, coming into strong plank, hold it here. Inhale, exhale, bend both of your knees. Keep your toes curled under as we're coming into toe stand and then slowly lower your forehead down. Softening those elbows and breathing towards the soles of the feet. One last breath, inhale. And as you exhale, ripple yourself up, release your toes, pedal up. And then from here, we're gonna start our first flow. First, gonna explain something. So whenever we're coming from our downward facing dog in towards our high lunge, it's really important that you bring your thigh as close towards your chest as you can. So you give yourself the space to step your foot as far as you can. Now we're going to step our foot diagonally this time. Make sure there is space around your mat. And then here we go. Remember, if you ever feel like you're going to fall out of it, just unravel yourself. You never want to put yourself in a position where you do fall. So coming on towards your hands and your knees. Inhale, lifting your hips up. And then here we go. Inhale, reaching your right leg up towards the ceiling. Now as you exhale, bring your knee in towards your chest. As close towards your ribcage and then ripple yourself forward. Inhale, swing your leg back three-legged dog. Exhale, crisscross your knee towards your left elbow. Hold it here. From here, pivot on towards your back foot. Kick out your right, and then you're going to slowly, you're going to lift your hips, and then see if you can release your left hand and lift it up towards the sky. Keep pressing yourself away from the ground. Inhale, and as you exhale, unravel, release your left hand. You're turning on towards your back foot and you're sliding your leg back towards your three-legged dog. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring it down towards your downward facing dog. Ripple forward, lower your knees, uncurl your toes, come back towards your child's pose. Take a deep inhalation through your nostrils and a slow exhale through your mouth. And then slowly ripple yourself back up. So I'm going to explain a little bit more. So actually it was off my mat, so it is more advice to come more on top of your mat. What happens here, there is a kind of a transfer of weight, and you have to kind of trust yourself that you are going to place your foot down and pivot on towards your back foot. And this is when the concept of push and pull becomes really important. You are lengthening and you're pressing down towards the floor so that you can have your body here in midair. We're going to try it on the other side and you always feel free to stop the video and then revisit it if it's going a little bit too fast. So coming back in towards our downward facing dog, inhale lifting your left leg up, bring your knee towards your chest, ripple it forward, bring your, your thigh as close towards your torso. Inhale back towards your three-legged dog, exhale crisscross your left knee towards your right elbow. From here we go, pivot on towards your back foot so the sole of the foot is flattened towards the mat. Kick out your left, and then here we're turning our torso, using our oblique muscles, reaching your right hand up, and keep sending your hips up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing yourself away from the ground, inhale, and as you exhale, slowly unravel again, place your right hand down, pivot on towards your back foot, swing it back towards your three-legged dog, and then step it in towards your downward facing dog, inhale, and as you exhale, bend both of your knees, Big toes together this time, knees as wide as the mat as you sink in towards your child's pose. Inhale, 
And as you exhale, ripple yourself up, come in towards the tabletop position as we're coming into thread the needle to release the shoulders. And then we're gonna do our fold and star one more time, slowing it down and see if you can refine those cues for yourself. As you inhale, lifting your left hand up, press yourself away from the ground. And as you exhale, swing your left hand underneath your right armpit as you lay down on towards your left ear and shoulder. Right hand is stretched out in front of you, softening your shoulders, inhale and exhale, creating that softening for your upper body, releasing your hands, inhale, and as you exhale, place your right hand in line with your face, lift yourself up, bring your left hand one last time up towards the sky, and as you exhale, come back to center, take a moment to just stay here for a couple of breaths, notice the difference between the left and the right, And now we're slowly coming towards the other side. Inhale, lifting your right hand up. Exhale, scooping it, lowering down on towards your right ear and shoulder. Left hand is stretched out in front of you, really inviting that softness around your shoulder girdle, your upper back, sinking into this pose. Inhale, and as you exhale, gently place your left hand in front of your face, lift yourself up, right hand up towards the sky, and exhale, bring it back down. Wrist out with shoulders, iron one, lying out, staying here for a moment to just simply observe. Curl your toes under, and then here we go. Inhale, dropping the belly, lengthening through your spine, look forward, and as you exhale, rounding your spine, chin comes towards the chest. Inhale, creating that hollow spine almost. Look forward. Exhale, chin comes towards the chest, look towards your navel. And then coming all the way back to center, release your toes as we're coming into seating. So we're going to do this fold and star one more time. We're just building up to it. So this time we're going to come in towards our three-legged dog and we're going to bring our elbow first towards our right elbow. So we're kind of working here on our core as well. And then we're going to come back in towards our three-legged dog, bring our knee as close towards the middle of the chest. And the last swing, we're going to crisscross it and we're going to come in towards our fold and star. Again, focus on your core, that push and pull sensation. Also, try to enjoy the stretch. I really enjoy this full and star pose because it's a full body stretch and you're activating your body at the same time and you have to be focused, otherwise you fall on your face. So yeah, it encompasses all those things that I enjoy about a yoga pose. So, all right, here we go. Coming in towards our downward facing dog. Set yourself up, take a deep inhalation through your nostrils. Slow exhale through your mouth. And then here we go, inhale, lifting your right leg up, square your hips, three leg down. Exhale, roll yourself forward, bring your knee towards your right elbow. Inhale, three leg down. Exhale, knee towards the middle of your chest. Try to have your thighs close towards your torso. Inhale, three leg down, here we go. Exhale, knee towards your left elbow. Then from here, pivot on towards your back foot to kick out your right leg. From here, slowly and controlled, release your left hand and then lift it up towards the sky. Keep sending your hips up, both feet are stable, inhale. And as you exhale first, you turn your gaze, then your hand, pivot on towards your back foot, swing it back in towards your three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, lower it down, downward facing dog, inhaling, exhale, bending both of your knees, knees are together, as you cocoon in towards your child's pose for a moment, release your hands towards your feet, softening your shoulders. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly roll yourself up. We're sitting here on towards our heels, but if this doesn't feel good for your knees, come into a cross-legged position, as we're gonna do a little bit of wrist therapy, because when we do this, we do ask a lot of our wrists, and if you're not used to this, it might feel a little bit like heavy around it as well. From here, we're gonna do some wrist circles, so extending your hands out, and then circle them away from each other just a couple times. And then changing directions. 
Then from here, I'm gonna say stop with my left hand and my right fingers come over it and I'm just gently pulling it back. So I'm not doing any harsh movements, just a slow release here, inhale. And as you exhale, turn your finger down and you're pressing that towards you as well. Inhaling and exhale, other side, saying stop with your right hand and you're slowly pulling your fingers just gently back. You wanna try and create that release here. Inhaling. And exhale, other way. Inhale. And exhale from here. Bring your hands forward and then press your fingertips down towards the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Only do this if this feels good. Bringing the back of the hands down and just gently pressing down, but never any harsh movements here. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Wrap your hands together and then shake it up as we're going to do this one more time. So get yourself settled, get into the right head space, inhale and exhale. Here we go, downward facing dog. Take a moment to arrive, inhaling and as you exhale, float your left leg up, inhale, exhale, bring your knee towards your left elbow, inhale, swing it up, three-legged dog, exhale, knee towards the middle of your chest, inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, crisscross towards your right elbow, pivot on towards your back foot, release your left, keep sending your hips up, both feet are stable towards the ground, bring that openness in the chest, hold it here, inhale, and as you exhale, first your gaze turns, then your right hand, re-pivot it, reach your left leg up towards the sky, inhale, and as you exhale, whoo, we did it. Bend your knees up and down, and then come back in towards your child's pose, big toes together, knees are as wide as the mat. As you sit down, reaching your hands overhead, inhaling, and exhale. Inhale, and as you exhale, ripple yourself up. Bring your knees together, bump your hips to one side. As you extend your legs out, we're gonna make our way down towards the ground, extending your hands out in front of you, inhaling, and as you exhale, rounding your spine, and then vertebra by vertebra, lower yourself, slowly controlled, down towards the ground. Release your feet, take a moment to just simply arrive here. Inhale, and exhale. Slowly open your eyes, make sure you have a blanket nearby you and place it towards the left hand side or a pillow will also do. Bring your knees in towards your chest, you're coming into that beautiful supine twist. Inhale and as you exhale, bring both of your knees towards the left side. You want to make sure that your knees are supported so that your right shoulder is on the ground, extending your hands out and then gently keeping your gaze up towards the ceiling. We're not doing any crazy twisting with our neck today and just gently ease into this pose so you can really focus on releasing the side of your body here. I will give you a heads up when it's time to move out of this pose. Slowly deepening your breath, inhale, slow exhale through your mouth, gently open your eyes, bring your knees towards the center, you can roll over your lower back from one side to the other a couple times, place the soles of feet down, take your blanket or your prop and place it towards the right side, bring your knees in towards your chest, inhaling and exhale both of your knees and come towards the right side, left shoulder is nicely in supported here by the ground. If not, you just have to heighten the prop for your knee. And then we're just keeping our gaze up towards the ceiling, relaxing both of your shoulders, easing in towards this twist.
Inhale, and as you exhale through your mouth, time to leave this pose behind as we roll over spine to center, bring both knees over your chest. As you roll from one side to the other over your lower back, today we're gonna finish in a lying down position. You can place a blanket underneath your head for a little bit of cushioning if you'd like. Arms are beside you. Now we're gonna do our breathing. Inhale, one, two, three, and exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, and exhale. One, two, three, four. And let it go, deep inhalation through your nostrils. And a slow exhale through your mouth. Gently return back to your normal rhythm of your breath as you lay here for a couple moments, connecting to your body, observing your mind, and feeling your spirit, Shavasana. And slowly start deepening your breath. If you like to stay a bit longer in your relaxation, then please feel free. But if you're ready to come out, wiggle your toes and your fingertips. As you inhale, reach your hands overhead. And as you exhale, press your hands in front of your heart space. Let's say goodbye to you today from the floor. Take a moment to feel that connection and the calmness that you've cultivated with yourself and take this with you off your mat. As you inhale, bring your hands towards your third eye for inner wisdom. Gently guide it towards your lips for truth and bring it towards your heart for love. I want to thank all of you for sharing your energy, your focus and your breath and I'll see you guys in the next video. Namaste. Mm -hmm.